very few buildings around and a lot of nature where today there are crowded neighbourhoods. These are the first images of the Ecole Biblique of Jerusalem, surrounded by a landscape that has now disappeared north of the old city. Here, at the end of the 19th century, the French Dominican Fathers created one of the most important centres dedicated to the study of the Bible and archaeology of the Holy Land, officially recognised as a French archaeological school a hundred years ago. The memory of over a century of activity is enclosed in a special photo library. The Col Biblique as a school, as a research institute, was founded in 1890 by Father Lagrange. This property was acquired, was bought, eight years before by other Dominicans. So it is only after eight years of beginning in Jerusalem that they decided that their new property will be uh, dedicated to the study of the Bible and the Holy Land, connecting both together the land and the documents. This is an old collection of glass negatives from the Col Biblique. There are 40,000 photographs taken or collected for study purposes, preserved from the beginning with absolute precision and in recent years completely digitized. Looking through the rich archive, it is not difficult to find some really precious documents. You see the building of Newgate. This is a very unique photo that I am, I know, alone to possess. And you have here the opening, the first time the Turkish municipality decided to have a new gate, which is now the nickname became the official name, new gate. So they broke the, the, they broke the city wall and then the next step was to have the, the, the new gate com complete. You see, for example, in 1908, we were the first in the world to, to do a cruise. It's like a cruise, really, in the, on the Dead Sea. We are famous also here for the archaeological dig uh, at uh, Qumran, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes. The speakers at a conference organized to celebrate the important anniversary explain what the Ecole Biblique, still very much linked to the French state, represents today. An interesting combination between religious interests, national interests, very patriotic also interests. Actually, the Ecole Biblique is very, very modern and still very progressive and still very necessary, not only for France. Cette présence ancienne, savante, tolérante est importante à la fois. This academic and tolerant presence is now more important than in the past, both for the scientific community and for the countries in the area. Because archaeology in this troubled region is under threat at a time when very significant discoveries are being made, and because biblical studies are very important for conflicting communities that should claim the same text. À une époque où le heur entre les communautés qui devraient se réclamer du même texte. It has been very important for the biblical school to be recognized in 1920 as a French archaeological school in Jerusalem because it was a time of the change of political situation in the area. The Ottoman Empire collapsed, and so in which way other countries could do archaeology? Because during the century, we have been achieving a lot, you know, in terms of archaeology and biblical studies. Well, we continue. We hope we are preparing professors, we are preparing uh, scholars, you know, to be able to continue this mission.